What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Here we go again. It's time for another toy review. And we're on a Star Wars kick, so we're just going to keep it going. Star Wars The Black Series Bastilla Shan. I have no idea if I said that right. I hope I said it right. If I didn't, use the comment section. Correct me. Say, you kind you're an idiot. It's pronounced this way. <laughs> Bastilla Shan. That's how I'm going to say it. Very wanted figure here. Uh, this, of course, is from Knights of the Old Republic. Got the Malak already. Did a 60-second review. So if you want to check that out, go into the shorts area. Check out the 60-second review of him. But other than him, Bastilla Shan was definitely my second most wanted figure of the wave. She looks really good from the uh, box art here. There's a look at the side as well. We'll kind of pan back. Very cool-looking figure from that side. And uh, there she is again with the same picture. You guys can go ahead and pause if you'd like to read her bio. It's in different languages, so if you don't speak English, there's options, people. So there you go. Let's crack it open. Let's see if this is as good as the last review, which was the old Master Darth Maul. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. But still a Shan. Let's see what we got. All right, guys, all out of the package. It's nothing special. I'm going to tell you that right now. The head sculpt is something special. Look at that head sculpt. Looks very, very good. Don't ask me the actress's name. I have no idea what it is, but it's solid. It doesn't have any of that um, glow, you know, kind of glistening look to it. It's got a nice matte tint to it, and it looks great. Sorry about the focus. There we go. Focus on her. Don't focus on me. There we go. Very good looking profile, as you can tell from there. Very good looking profile that she has. The hair's done. Hasbro's main problem is there's just not enough details in these guys. It's very flat. You know, this is a mainline mass-produced brand. I understand that, but we, we need some more details here just to kind of separate things out. But I think the head sculpt's done very nicely. The rest of the costume, there is some nice colors, but again, it does suffer from being a little plain, which is unfortunate. Let's go over articulation real quick. Let me get you a look at the back of the figure first before we do that. I also got a little bit of a loose uh, hip joint on mine, so that's depressing to say the least. Let's go ahead and go over articulation. Buries the neck, buries the chin very well, as you can see there. Unfortunately, due to her hair, she does not go up very far at all. Just pretty much stagnant. That is um, one of those neck joints where it's the neck and then the ball joint going into the uh, head as well. You don't get a lot from the head to the neck, but the neck down into the shoulders and into the chest. That moves pretty well. So no issues there. Both arms go out just fine. Nothing wrong with that. Not really any butterflies. I'm not catching much butterfly at all, which is unfortunate because she has a double-bladed saber. Needs two hands for it. So that's a misstep by Hasbro. Uh, elbow joints need to be good. Again, double-bladed lightsaber. They're pretty good. I think she'll be just fine holding the saber with two hands. So those aren't bad. No problem there. Both wrists are lightsaber gun shooting hands up and down. No side to side. I think Hasbro finally learned their lesson from that one. Um, hip articulation, which is mo like that old Master Darth Maul. It's a lot in the abs. Not really a, a uh, waist swivel. She hardly goes down at all. That's as far as she can go. It's due to this belt. She won't go any further. But going back, much like old Master Maul, she goes back pretty good. You can get her kind of arching her back a little bit. And that does help with the looking up. So as you can tell there, she can look up a little better if you arch that backpack. So there you go with that. Legs, again, mine does have a little bit of a loose joint. But the nice thing is when you get her to do the splits... These pieces get out of the way pretty nicely. So not as good as the mall, but it still does the job for that. So no real complaints there. We also do have thigh swivel, as you can see there. Nothing great. Good thing about this, it doesn't break up any sculpt, so they can actually have the thigh swivel. I know with Mal uh, the new, um, what is it, Malgus, they don't even have a uh, thigh swivel on him. Uh, this probably is reuse because you can tell this is a double knee. And it works. You know, I don't really think we need double knees anymore. They're kind of unsightly, the pegs show, and they're just kind of ugly, honestly. So I don't really think there was any need for that. It's probably reuse. Also, there is a boot cut. So as you can tell, we can move her boots all around, move her around. I actually thought my ankle was broken until I moved the boot, and that kind of solidified it. Getting her to stand is going to be a nightmare. Um, any female Jedi or female... 
that has heels of any kind on Star Wars Black Series is very difficult to stand. So watch out for that. I'm not going to bend these because I tried to bend one when I was messing with her. Nearly broke the peg. But she does have up and down ankle and rocker, rocker tilt. So pretty good articulation. Fairly standard. A little disappointed in some of it. But overall, pretty solid figure. Let's go ahead and take a look at the saber. This is really where the figure shines, guys. I like this saber a lot. The, the one problem, this is a little bent. This is the part that was in the packaging. Again, we talked about it with the mall review. We got to stop with this peg-in stuff. It's, it's no good. We really got to stop with the peg-in stuff. But the colors of the hilt itself, really nice. Nice silver, nice black. Done really well. Um, it's not very straight at all. <laughs> it's It's got some curve to it, which kind of sucks. But it's nice to finally get a yellow saber for a female Jedi, for any Jedi, really. And have it not be Rey, because we don't care about Rey. But uh, a really nice looking saber. So happy with that. All right, let me get the saber in her hands. We'll try to get her in a cool pose. Do a couple comparisons to some other female Jedi. I'll be right back. All right, mystery uncovered. I went to get another female Jedi out of Sakura. The uh, lower torso, legs, feet, everything is borrowed from Isla Sakura for Bastilla Shan. So we have a kit bash once again. Big surprise. That's going to explain the double knees. Uh, these two look really cool together. I mean, there is a lot of parts that are reused from one to the other, but they're both really good Jedi. It's nice to have some female Jedi. Breaks it up the collection, making it, you know, there, there's a lot of female Jedi. We need them. So it's it's nice to see these. Um, articulation in the arms for this figure needed to be better. We needed butterfly joints. We needed really well-moving arms to get this one in a good pose. I, I'm no good poser. <laughs> that sounded horrible. I'm not very good at posing my action figures. That sounds better. If you get in the comment section and agree with me that I'm a poser, you're, you're out of here. We're, we're kicking you out. Anyway, <laughs> uh, it, we needed more articulation in the arms, I think. I think this suffers from lack of articulation. I mean, it kind of reminds me of some of the older figures. But overall, I think she's got a good look to her. It's definitely a needed figure, a figure a lot of people want. And uh, I'm happy to have it. I'm going to go ahead and give her a 7.5 out of 10. I think there's a few parts that come up a little short, all in all. But overall, good figure. 24 is a little steep. Again, we're only getting one accessory for Black Series and, and that whole thing. But again, if you're like me, this is a figure you wanted. Go get her. Um, pretty sure she's sold out in a lot of places. But you can definitely check Amazon, Big Bag Toy Store. Uh, being found at GameStop, so I did find one of my GameStop the other day. So just look around. 7.5 out of 10. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you did, comment, like, subscribe. And we will see you guys on the next video. Have a good one.